Look how this end. Hey guys, today we're working on the trunk lid. Somebody did a number with this shitty paint. I'm not sure if it's an actual paint or a plastic dip or something, but if you look at it closely, it's not the best paint job. And they actually painted it on top of the actual paint without properly treating the, uh, the layer. So you needed to sand it in order to paint it. Plus, they've only painted this part. If you look closely, it's not painted over there. Man, it's so annoying what they do to these cars. Look, I had to sand it because there's no way in hell that you can remove it without sanding it. And sadly, yes, in some areas you're gonna have to reach the bare metal. Well, it's not the bare metal, it's basically the primer under. Uh, what I'm using, wet sanding, I'm using 180 and I'm using 800. So the 180 for the hot parts, just to break them loose just a bit, and after that you go with the 800. Granted, their both of them is a bit strong, so they will leave some marks over here. So the plan is, once we're done with this gunk, we're gonna hit it with the 1000 probably, or 1500, just to smoothen it up, then after that you can actually paint it. I'm not planning to remove the spoiler, but I'll show you how to remove it and luckily this side is actually clear and it doesn't have any issue it just needs a bit of a wet sand then after that you just hit it with a clear coat now to remove the spoiler let's just have a look here over here there should be two rubber grommets which i removed them and if you look closely there should be a screw philip screw so one, two, in the middle there is one, and in the other side there is another two. Once you remove them all, you'll be able to remove this one. And as you remove it, you'll be able to fish the wire through. That way you can remove that. We've done pretty much similar one on the Subaru. If you haven't watched it, please go check it out. And similarly with the third light over here, uh, there are screws. You just unhook them and you can remove the lens itself out. It's exactly like the Subaru when we've done the Subaru one. That being said, this one is properly bolted and the paint on this one is actually in good neck. It just needs a clear coat basically. So I was thinking I'll just finish doing this and after that I'll give it a quick wash. Well, thought a wash because look, can you see that? Yeah, don't you ever, ever paint something with this dirt on it. You need to make sure that it's clean. And even if you look at the crevices, let me just see if I can show you from the other side. Can you see? That's just dirt. Dirt all over the place. So you need to wash this one properly before you even paint it. These areas I'm not too fussed about because I've already got the paint that is matched. So we'll spray this one once it's all done. I've already done this part as you can see. I still need to do basically this part. So, wet sand, apply some water, and slowly, and use a block, a sanding block like this one. Because if you're using your own fingers, you'll end up with low spots, high spots. Just an idea. Okay? Okay. I'm in the middle of uh, pressure washing it. I just wanted to show you something, it's so cool. Check, this is the rag that I've been using. Look how dirty, and look, this is just one pass. So just check it out, check it out. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna continue, then after that we'll come back to it. Hey guys, see? Fully cleaned, and yes, taped up. This is the lens for the brake, and these are the emblems. I just temporarily taped them up. And wax, grease removed any dirt on this one. You see how sadly we had to clean it up close enough that the primer is showing up. Now, I've already got the spray can. I figured, let's just give it a crack. If it works, then it's all good and well. If it doesn't, then 
we're gonna have to paint it the proper way. But for now, I would say, let's just give it a crack and see. Ta-da, there you go. This is with a spray can, just so that I can cover up the areas that were highly exposed that we basically depleted all the paint on it. So you can still see some where the primer is showing. Don't worry about that. This is all wax and grease uh, cleaned up and the focus will be basically on this side and the spoiler itself. They're not gonna be much focus over here. So I wouldn't be too worried about that area. That being said, I've already mastered just in case because I don't want the tags and the emblems and everything to have overspray. So this one is done and while we add it, we uh, wet sanded the bumper, wax grease removed any dirt and even masked up the rubber seal that goes over here. So it's all good and well. This is the paint, this is the code that we're going with, 91305. This is the actual paint that comes with this one. And I'm using my trusty airless machine and hopefully that will work out. Uh, I'm crossing my fingers, I'm going with ratio one to one. So basically, well, not one to one, a two to one. Yep, two to one. So one paint, two uh, thinner or reducer because it worked out on the Subaru and hopefully it'll work out on this one too. Okay? Okay, I just left it for half an hour to dry, but check it out. This is just basically, technically, first coat. Although I was a bit uh, over, simply because it was hot. Look at it, just check. For one coat and one coat only, I would say this is just an amazing job. Look at it, it's just perfect even the sideway, look, no sign of scratches whatsoever, granted you're gonna see some scratches, but then again this is not a big deal, because keep in mind this is only base coat, I haven't even applied the clear coat yet, I'm not planning to apply it anytime soon, check, this is the trunk, and this is the spoiler, look at it, Perfect spread all over and the color is matching perfectly because I didn't even paint this side No crack no nothing no orange peel whatsoever success success That being said once we install it in the car and we decide to go ahead and paint the clear coat at that point this one is practically ready uh, to receive the clear coat. Keep in mind, I've actually wet the floor so that no dust or particles come out onto the paint. And that machine, airless machine, wow, it works wonders. It does work wonders. And all what you need to do is just basically clean the gun. That's it. Man, I paid $128 for that machine. Up until this moment, I'm getting my money's worth out of it. I would say that's a success. Anyways, let's leave it till dry. I can't get over it, man. I really can't get over it. Good start for the new year. 
Okay, now that we painted the actual bumper with the actual base coat, it's time to tackle this one. This is the bumper trim. So it's not plastic, it's rubber, if you must. And if you look closely, these are the marks, and this is how the color fading. We need to work on that. Uh, here's how it is. You can use normal spray can black and paint it but then again it's not designed for rubber so it's not going to be a good idea for you i decided to go with this one duplicolor trim and bumper paint and i went for black see the actual painted areas are all lost this is the one that i need to paint i've wet sanded it and wax grease removed any dirt uh, already been shaking this one for some time let's give this one a go I'm just gonna paint just an area for you to have a look at see let's just say this area see how it's faded let's just go with this one and there you go we just need to wait until it dries and that should bring it up to spec I'm gonna completely paint everything then I'll show you how it's gonna look like afterwards, okay? A few moments later. And there you have it, painted. And it's still in the drying process, but look at it. This paint is designed to be absorbed by it without compromising the appeal or the look of it. So now when you look at it, it still looks rubbery per se and fresh, dare I say almost new. There you go. And the best part is, even if you had some runs and whatnot, which it's almost impossible to have runs with this one, because of the material itself, it absorbs it, so it just hides it. This is the trim for the back window. I've also painted it black because the plan is we need to install it back. Since we fixed the rust and everything, it's time to put it back on. Probably I'll use the same paint for the actual trims that are around the window. You know how we have these ones? Let me just show you, like these ones. This one, and even this one probably. Although I do have a different idea for this one. I'll get to it later. But you see anything plasticky in nature, I see those, might as well paint it. But yeah, the plastic trim that I was talking about sits over here. So we've got to sort it out, we can put it back on. The trunk has already been painted. We haven't painted the clear yet, but it's ready to be put on because the plan is we need to paint the whole car with the clear once it's all done. But at least now I get to put some stuff back on the car. So that's not bad at all. And there you have it. It's almost dry, so I removed the masking. Man, look at it. Look at the paint with the black. And this is without clear. I haven't even applied clear yet. look this looks fresh this looks right this is how it should be see can you even tell that it's been painted no you can't and I even followed the same lines and same everything so now it does look original and this is the trim see? dried up completely and black as black gets Okay, check it out and tell me if it's in it, if it isn't beautiful. Look, remember how dark and black it was? Look how clean. And this is the trim that we painted. And this is just base coat. I didn't even put clear coat yet. And also look. Ta-da! all the rubber grommets and everything put back even the wire zip tied exactly as it should and check it out this is the plastic trim that we painted this is the rubber seal that we cleaned up and it's perfect exactly where it needs to be no rust no nothing and see all this area is painted and clean from the inside remember man look at it Look how clean, beautiful. Now we just simply close it and there you go. And look at the color match. And this is before I apply. I didn't even apply the clear yet. 
So once we apply the clear, it's gonna shine up. And all the gaps and everything lines up perfect. Nothing stands out, nothing odd, nothing out. Sweet! Now, I just mock fitted the uh, bumper. See, it's not even attached properly. But check it out. It's sitting exactly where it should be, at least from this angle, from this area. See, look at that. And see, even the plate hold the thingy. There you go. You just need to put it back and check the screws. There you go. There you go. And this one attached to it. Man, look at it. Look how this end. Now imagine the lights and pretty much everything. The car is getting almost back to normal. Sweet! On a separate note, now that we're done with the trunk, it's time to work on the inside. I need to remove this and I need to clean it. So first order of business, we need to remove the seats. That's easy. One bolt over here and the other bolt is basically hidden. See this plastic piece basically over here on top of it to cover it up with the screw so get yourself a Phillips uh, screwdriver remove the screw and BAM you've got access to it and this is the bolt and you get it out see how on this side it's right over here yeah so once you're done with the back roll the seat all the way back that way you can remove the bolts at the front then you can remove the whole seat altogether Done with this one, we'll go with that one. Then after that, probably we're gonna go with the center console. We need to remove that and remove all the trim pieces that over here that holds the carpet, see? Yeah, I know it's a bit dark, but you see, it's just like over here. And remove the clips over here, and basically that allows you to remove the whole carpet. The carpet is dirty, definitely needs a cleanup. Now, personally, I would have preferred to replace the carpet, but sadly I cannot get a hold of a good decent shaped one, so I'm gonna have to work with what I got. Hopefully once it's cleaned up and washed thoroughly and painted, maybe it'll look better than what it looks now. I know for a fact the smell will be way much better. So, let's get on with that. Don't you just love it when things escalate? Front seat's out, and I'm in the process of removing this one. Like I said, you need to remove the bolt for the this belt over here. Once that is done, there's a screw over here, you need to remove it. And another screw over here. And you need to remove this piece from this side. And once that is done, you'll be able to fish the seat belt. Look at it. Can you see? There's an opening here. There it is. You can fish it out. And this one basically removed itself. This one, pretty much the same thing. There's a small crack in it, deliberate crack, so that you can remove the belt out of it. And bam, that's how it is. Ashtray. Hmm, new coin. The card is paying itself. Not bad, we're making profit. Five cents. Carrying on. Now that we got it removed, we get to clean that area from all the cobwebs and everything. And once that is done, then basically we just need to wash the trim itself and paint it as well because we ended up painting this one, remember? We just needed to put it back. So we'll uh, put it back, but we're not gonna put it back anytime soon because we need to get this one out. Who does that? Who does this shitty job to a car? This is the e-brake trim piece. And somebody decided to wrap it with some form of carbon fiber crap. Get a heat gun and heat the area, then peel it off. Once you peel it off, you'll be able to see what's inside. If it needs cleaning, clean it. If it needs paint, which most likely the case it needs paint, I'm gonna paint it back again. Once you get this one out, you'll be able to see the screws, remove those, and I do believe there should be some more somewhere here or under those. I don't know, I'll look into it, but it should be fairly easy. Why we're removing this one? Because we still need to remove the carpet. I mean, check the carpet out. It's not horrible as much except for this part. I mean, what is this? It's torn, man, torn. I don't even know if I can even fix this part. This one is definitely not fixable. 
definitely not fixable because the other side is okay but apart from that it's just dirty as dirty gets this one yep definitely needs cleaning good god i'm pretty sure once it's all done and cleaned up and put back together the car from the inside will smell far much better than this musty expired avogado mixed with some mashed potato that has been cooked overcooked for the past two years if that makes any sense anyways we'll proceed Ta-da! yep three bolts on each side or three screws on each side from here from there and you'll be able to uh, pick them up uh, this is the knob, the gear knob. You see how it has this clip that clips over here. So once you release it, it's basically screwed. So unscrew it, you'll get it out. Once you get it out, you'll be able to fish this one out. This one definitely needs also cleaning. And plus, if you look at the boot, yep. So we need to fix this one up. Anyways, so we got it out. And uh, tip of the day, put the screws back in the same hole even here so yeah, i got them out i put them back in that way when you put the plastic piece back you already know that these are the screws and this is where they go to make it easier for you this one i tried to remove it it's a uh, rubber thingy and it's glued into this area i wouldn't remove it if i were you just clean it and if it needs painting just paint it it's not going to be that hard for you to paint it just make sure to cover up everything and keep in mind we're going to remove the carpet anyways so couldn't care less this area definitely needs cleaning and hopefully we're on the right track as for this one, it's self-explanatory. You see, you've got some bolts over here. Just remove them. As you remove them, you'll be able to clean up. I don't think I'll need to clean up or remove this one. I just definitely need to clean this mess. But now I've got access to the carpet from this area. Uh, over there, probably a couple of clips, couple of screws, couple of bolts, whatever, whatever, whatever. And we'll be able to get them out.